Captain Zack Hartman slammed his fist on the console, nearly cracking its hardened steel frame, as the distress call blared through the bridge speakers. All is lost. The Kragoth have broken through our final defences. This is our darkest hour. If anyone can hear this, send help immediately. Static. Then silence. Humanity was outmatched. The warring alien factions had technology centuries beyond Earth's primitive fusion drives and kinetic weapons. But now... The peaceful Galactic Federation was on the verge of total annihilation at the hands of the merciless Kragoth Empire, and they were begging for aid from the one species the galaxy had overlooked and underestimated, humans. Zack convinced the skeptical Earth Council it was time for mankind to take the galactic stage. The war-torn Federation needed fresh tactics and allies to survive, and Earth needed powerful friends to secure its future among the stars. The human fleet arrived at the Federation's last bastion to a mix of desperate hope and doubt. Did these upstart Terrans really believe they could turn the tide against the undefeated Kragoth Armada? Zack would have to prove humanity's mettle, both in the war room and on the front lines. Earth would bring the full force of human grit, guile and ferocity to this fight. Failure meant certain extinction for the Federation, and a grim fate for an isolated Earth. But if Zack succeeded... It would be remembered as the moment humans became a great power to be reckoned with, the moment the galaxy learned to never underestimate mankind. In this dark hour it was time for humans to step up, or the light of civilization would be snuffed out forever. Zack gritted his teeth as he watched the Federation technicians swarming over his ship's systems, integrating their alien tech with human hardware. The sleek lines of his vessel were marred by the bulky additions, making it look like a patchwork monstrosity. His crew was on edge, trying to familiarise themselves with the new interfaces and protocols. Captain, I can't make heads or tails of this targeting system, Lieutenant Sarah Hawkins reported, frustration evident in her voice. It's like trying to read hieroglyphics. Zack placed a reassuring hand on her shoulder. Keep at it, Hawkins. We need to adapt fast if we're going to be effective out there. As he strode through the corridors, Zack couldn't help but notice the tension between his crew and the Federation soldiers. The aliens regarded the humans with a mix of curiosity and suspicion, while his own people bristled at the condescending looks and whispered comments. In the mess hall, a burly human marine bumped into a lithe, blue-skinned alien, causing her to spill her tray. Watch it, Terran, she hissed, her eyes narrowing. The marine squared his shoulders, ready for a fight. Maybe you should watch where you're going, Blue. Zack quickly intervened, stepping between them. Stand down, both of you. We're on the same side here. The alien soldier scoffed and walked away, while the Marine grumbled under his breath. Zack knew he had to do something to bridge the gap between their forces, or they'd be fighting each other instead of the Kragoth. He sought out General Vortex, the grizzled veteran in charge of the Federation's military operations, the general was hunched over a holographic display, studying the latest intel on Kragoth movements. General, we need to talk, Zack said, approaching the alien commander. Vortex looked up, his four eyes blinking in surprise. Captain Hartman, what can I do for you? Our forces aren't meshing well. The mistrust and cultural differences are hindering our ability to work together effectively. The general sighed, his mandibles clicking. I've noticed. Your people are unpredictable. They don't follow our protocols. Zack leaned in, meeting Vortex's gaze. That unpredictability is our strength. We need to develop strategies that play to the abilities of both our forces. Let me work with you to come up with a plan. Vortex considered for a moment, then nodded. Very well, Captain, let's see what we can do. As Zack and Vortex poured over the battle plans trying to find ways to integrate human tactics with Federation technology, an urgent message came through on the comm system. General Vortex, Captain Hartman, we have a situation. The voice of the Federation's intelligence officer was tense. Our spies have reported that Emperor Zorgath has dispatched Admiral Krath to lead a surprise attack on our supply lines. He sees the humans as a new and unpredictable threat and wants to cripple our resources and morale. Zack and Vortex exchanged a grim look. Krath is Zorgath's most cunning strategist, Vortex said. If he's targeting our supply lines, it could be devastating. 
We need to protect those convoys at all costs, Zack replied. My crew and I will take on this mission. We'll show the Kragoth that they can't underestimate humanity. As the human fleet took up defensive positions around the vital supply ships, Zack couldn't shake the feeling that they were walking into a trap. His instincts proved correct when Krath's forces emerged from the void, their sleek black ships bristling with advanced weaponry. The battle was fierce and bloody, with the humans fighting tooth and nail against the technologically superior Kragoth. Zack's tactical skills were put to the test as he coordinated his ship's movements, trying to anticipate Krath's next move. Pervasive maneuvers, he shouted, as a barrage of plasma fire raked across his ship's shields. Hawkins, target their weapon systems. We need to disable them before they can take out the convoy. The humans fought with a ferocity that surprised even their alien allies, their bravery and determination making up for their technological disadvantage. Zack's quick thinking and leadership proved crucial in holding the line, directing his ships to protect the most vulnerable convoy vessels. Despite their valiant efforts, the convoy suffered heavy losses, with several supply ships reduced to floating debris. But thanks to the humans' sacrifice, the majority of the supplies made it through, providing a lifeline to the beleaguered Federation forces. As the battle wound down and the surviving ships limped back to the Federation base, Zack couldn't help but feel a sense of pride in his crew's performance. They had faced impossible odds and emerged bloodied but unbroken. However, the victory was short-lived. As the Federation analyzed the attack, they realized that the Kragoth had a spy within their ranks, feeding them sensitive information about the convoy's route and defenses. Suspicion immediately fell on the humans, the newcomers who had just proven their worth in battle. The already strained alliance was stretched to the breaking point as accusations flew and tempers flared. Zack found himself in the unenviable position of having to clear humanity's name while also rooting out the true traitor. He knew that if he couldn't find the spy quickly, the fragile trust between the humans and the Federation would shatter, leaving them vulnerable to the Kragoth's next move. As he delved into the investigation, Zack couldn't shake the feeling that the Kragoth had marked humanity as a primary target. They had seen the humans' potential on the battlefield and knew that they could be a major threat to their conquest of the galaxy. The weight of responsibility settled heavily on Zack's shoulders as he prepared for the next major confrontation with the Kragoth forces. He knew that the fate of not just the Federation, but all of humanity, rested on his ability to lead his people to victory against an enemy that had never known defeat. But Zack was determined to prove that humans were more than just upstarts and underdogs. They were a force to be reckoned with, and they would not go quietly into the night. They would fight, and they would win no matter the cost. The Kragoth spy remained at large, a phantom menace sowing discord and suspicion among the Federation forces. Tensions were high, with accusations flying and trust eroding. Zack knew he had to take action to uncover the truth and restore unity. He handpicked a small team for a covert mission, including his trusted second-in-command, Lieutenant Emma Reed. As they prepared to infiltrate a Kragoth-occupied planet, Zack pulled Emma aside. I need you on this one, Reed. There's no one I trust more to have my back. Emma nodded, her eyes hard with determination. We'll get the job done, Captain, and we'll find that spy no matter what it takes. The team slipped onto the planet's surface, moving silently through the shadows of the alien city. They dodged Kragoth patrols and surveillance drones, relying on their wits and training to stay undetected. Deep in the heart of the enemy stronghold, they discovered a hidden research facility heavily guarded by Kragoth soldiers. Zack and his team managed to breach the perimeter, fighting their way through the guards with a combination of human tenacity and alien weaponry. Inside the facility, they found evidence of a secret weapon the Kragoth were developing, a massive energy cannon capable of obliterating planets from across the galaxy. The schematics and test data revealed that the weapon was nearing completion, and once operational, it could crush the Federation's remaining defenses in a single devastating blow. 
As Zack downloaded the critical intelligence onto a data drive, alarms began blaring throughout the complex. Intruders detected in Sector 7, a robotic voice announced. All units converge and eliminate the threat. Time to go, Zack yelled, signaling his team to fall back. They fought their way out of the facility, dodging energy blasts and returning fire with everything they had. But as they reached the extraction point, an ambush was waiting for them. Krath's elite soldiers, heavily armoured and armed with advanced plasma rifles, poured out from hidden positions surrounding Zack and his team. A desperate battle erupted, with the humans and their allies fighting for their lives against the Kragoth's most ruthless warriors. Emma fought alongside Zack, her rifle spitting deadly bursts of energy at the advancing enemies. But the Kragoth kept coming, their superior numbers threatening to overwhelm the team. Suddenly a plasma bolt struck Emma in the chest, burning through her armor and sending her crashing to the ground. Zack rushed to her side, cradling her in his arms as he tried to stem the bleeding. Zack, you have to go, Emma gasped, her face pale and streaked with sweat. The information it's more important than any of us. Get it back to the Federation. Zack shook his head, tears stinging his eyes. I can't leave you behind, Emma. We'll find a way out of this together. But Emma gripped his hand with surprising strength. You have to, Zack. The fate of the galaxy depends on it. Promise me you'll get that data back, no matter what. With a heavy heart, Zack made the agonizing decision to leave Emma behind, entrusting her care to a medic from their team. He gathered the remaining survivors and fought their way to the extraction ship, the data drive clutched tightly in his hand. As they escaped the planet's atmosphere, Zack looked back at the receding surface, his heart aching with the knowledge that Emma was down there, her fate uncertain. He vowed to return for her, to make the Kragoth pay for every drop of blood they had spilled. Back at the Federation headquarters, Zack presented the intelligence on the Kragoth's secret weapon to a shocked audience of military leaders and diplomats, but instead of being hailed as a hero, he faced accusations and whispers of abandoning his comrade. General Vortex, recognizing the significance of the information, stood by Zack's side. Captain Hartman made a difficult but necessary choice, he declared. The intelligence he brought back could change the course of this war. We must act on it immediately. Zack watched as the Federation Council descended into heated debates and political maneuvering. Some factions advocated for a purely defensive strategy, focusing on shoring up their remaining strongholds. Others pushed for an all-out assault on the Kragoth's center of power, hoping to crush their war machine before the secret weapon could be deployed. But amidst the infighting and indecision, Zack knew that time was running out. The Kragoth's weapon grew closer to completion with each passing day, and the spy within their ranks continued to feed vital information to the enemy. Frustrated with the Council's inaction, Zack took matters into his own hands. He gathered a strike force of human and alien volunteers, each one committed to ending the Kragoth threat once and for all. They would launch a preemptive strike against the weapon facility, destroying it before it could be used against the Federation. As they prepared for the mission, Zack addressed his team. I won't lie to you. This will be the most dangerous operation any of us have ever undertaken. The Kragoth will throw everything they have at us. But if we succeed, we can turn the tide of this war and save countless lives. He looked around at the faces of his comrades, human and alien, united in their determination to protect the galaxy. I can't do this without you. Together we'll show the Kragoth what happens when they underestimate the power of unity and courage. The strike force set out, their ships cutting through the void towards the heart of Kragoth space. They knew the risks, knew that failure would mean certain doom for the Federation and the end of humanity's hopes for a place among the stars. But they also knew that they were fighting for something greater than themselves, for the future of all sentient beings, for the right to live free from tyranny and oppression. As they neared their target, Zack thought of Emma and all the others who had sacrificed so much in this war. He channeled his grief and anger into a steely resolve, determined to honor their memory with victory. The fate of the galaxy hung in the balance, 
as Zack and his team prepared to launch their desperate gambit. The Kragoth had underestimated humanity once before. Now it was time to show them the true strength of the human spirit. Zack's hand hovered over the button that would launch the Strike Force's ships into Kragoth space. He glanced around at the faces of his team, a mix of human and alien soldiers united by a common purpose. They were the best of the best, each one hand-picked for their skills and determination. This is it, Zack said, his voice steady despite the weight of the moment. We've trained for this, we've fought for this, and now we're going to end this war once and for all. The team nodded, their expressions grim but resolute. They knew the risks, but they also knew what was at stake. Zack pressed the button, and the ship surged forward, streaking towards the Kragoth secret weapon facility. As they approached the heavily fortified installation, the team braced themselves for the fight of their lives. The Kragoth's defenses opened fire, filling the void with a maelstrom of energy beams and missiles. Zack's ship shuddered as it took a glancing blow, but he kept his focus on the target ahead. Evasive maneuvers, he barked, his fingers flying over the controls. Get us in close and deploy the ground team. The strike force ships weaved through the onslaught, their shields straining under the relentless barrage. One by one they reached the facility's perimeter, disgorging their human and alien soldiers onto the surface. Zack led the charge, his rifle blazing as he cut down the Kragoth defenders. The ground team moved with precision and power, their combined strengths proving crucial as they battled through the fortified corridors. The deeper they pushed into the facility, the fiercer the resistance became. Kragoth soldiers poured from every corner, their weapons spitting deadly energy bolts, but Zack's team met them head-on, their courage and skill matched only by their determination to succeed. As they neared the heart of the facility, Zack's comm crackled with an urgent transmission. Captain, we found the weapon, a human soldier reported, his voice strained. But there's something you need to see. Zack and his team fought their way to the soldier's location, where they found themselves standing before a massive pulsating machine. It was a planet-destroying superweapon, its power source a swirling vortex of rare and unstable energy. If we destroy this thing, it could trigger a catastrophic explosion, a Kragoth scientist said, his voice trembling with fear. He had been captured during the assault, and now he stared at the weapon with a mix of awe and horror. It could wipe out nearby inhabited worlds. Zack felt a chill run down his spine. He had seen the destruction the Kragoth were capable of, but this was beyond anything he had ever imagined. He turned to his team, his mind racing. They couldn't let the Kragoth keep this weapon, but they couldn't risk the lives of innocent civilians either. We need to sabotage the power source, Zack said, his voice grim. Render it inoperable without triggering an explosion. The team looked at him, their faces etched with worry. They knew it was a risky plan, but they trusted Zack's judgment. As they discussed the details of the sabotage, a familiar voice crackled over the comm. Captain Hartman, this is Lieutenant Reed. I'm here to help. Zack's heart skipped a beat. Emma had survived the ambush on the Kragoth-occupied planet, but she had been captured in the process. He had thought her lost forever. Gamma, where are you? Zack asked, his voice tight with emotion. I'm in the facility, Emma replied, her voice strained. The Kragoth brought me here as a prisoner, but I managed to escape my cell during the chaos of the attack. Zack closed his eyes for a moment, relief and fear warring within him. Can you reach the power source? Affirmative, Emma said, and Captain, I know what I need to do. Zack's chest tightened. He knew what Emma was suggesting, and it tore him apart inside. Emma, no, he said, his voice cracking. We'll find another way. But Emma's voice was steady, filled with a quiet determination. There is no other way, Zack, you know that. Someone has to stay behind to ensure the job is done. Zack clenched his fists, his mind reeling. He had already left Emma behind once on that cursed planet. He couldn't bear the thought of losing her again. But he also knew that she was right. The mission required someone to stay behind. 
to make the ultimate sacrifice for the greater good. In that moment, Zack made the hardest decision of his life. Do it, Emma, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. Sabotage the power source. We'll buy you as much time as we can. There was a pause on the other end of the comm and then Emma's voice, soft but resolute. It's been an honor serving with you, Captain. Make sure my sacrifice counts. Zack's team fought their way out of the facility, their hearts heavy with the knowledge of what Emma was doing. They could hear the sounds of battle over the comm, the crack of energy weapons and the shouts of Kragoth soldiers. And then suddenly silence. Zack held his breath, waiting for a sign that Emma had succeeded. And then the ground shook beneath their feet, and a blinding light erupted from the heart of the facility. The Kragoth secret weapon was no more, its power source sabotaged beyond repair, but the victory had come at a great cost. As the dust settled, Zack and his team stood in the ruins of the facility, their faces streaked with sweat and grime. They had won the battle, but the war was far from over. News of their success spread like wildfire through the Federation, renewing hope and rallying support for the war effort. But Zack couldn't shake the feeling of loss that gripped his heart. Emma had sacrificed herself for the greater good, and he knew that he would carry that weight with him forever. But he also knew that her sacrifice had not been in vain. The Federation had struck a blow against the Kregoth, and now it was time to press the advantage. Zack and his team would continue to fight, to honor the memory of those who had fallen, and to secure a future for all the peoples of the galaxy. But even as they celebrated their victory, a new threat loomed on the horizon. Emperor Zorgath, enraged by the setback, had vowed to crush the Federation and its human allies once and for all. The final battle was coming, and Zack knew that it would be the fight of their lives, but he also knew that they would face it together, human and alien alike, united by a common purpose and an unbreakable bond of brotherhood. The Galactic War was far from over, but with the strength of the human spirit and the power of unity, anything was possible. Zack and his team would stand tall, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, knowing that they were fighting for something greater than themselves. They were fighting for the future of the galaxy, and they would not rest until that future was secure. The destruction of the Kragoth superweapon sent shockwaves through the galaxy. Zack found himself at the center of a whirlwind of activity as the Galactic Federation scrambled to capitalize on the moment. In recognition of his leadership, and the crucial role humanity had played in the war effort, Zack was promoted to the rank of Admiral, a testament to the trust and respect he had earned among his alien allies. With newfound authority and a renewed sense of purpose, Zack wasted no time in devising a bold strategy to press the advantage. He gathered the combined might of the human and alien fleets, forging them into a cohesive fighting force united by a common goal to strike at the heart of the Kragoth Empire and end their reign of terror once and for all. The Federation launched a series of daring attacks on key Kragoth strongholds, with Zack leading the charge. The human admiral proved to be a master tactician, employing unconventional strategies and leveraging the unique strengths of each species under his command. The Kragoth, still reeling from the loss of their superweapon, were caught off guard by the ferocity and coordination of the Federation's assault. As the Federation forces pushed deeper into Kragoth territory, they encountered fierce resistance from the Empire's battle-hardened warriors. The Kragoth fought with a desperate fury, knowing that their very way of life was at stake. But Zack and his allies matched their intensity, driven by a righteous cause and the knowledge that failure was not an option. With each victory, the Federation gained ground, liberating enslaved worlds and rallying more species to their cause. The tide of the war was turning, and the Kragoth began to feel the pressure on all fronts. Deep within the Kragoth capital, Emperor Zorgath seethed with rage as reports of the Federation's advances reached his ears. The once confident ruler now found himself grappling with the unraveling of his empire, and his grip on power grew increasingly tenuous. In his desperation, Zorgath lashed out at his subordinates, demanding that they take whatever measures necessary to crush the Federation's resistance. 
he ordered the deployment of forbidden weapons and the sacrifice of entire worlds to slow the enemy's advance. Amidst the chaos, Admiral Krath found himself at a crossroads. The veteran Kragoth commander had always been a loyal servant of the Empire, but as he witnessed the depths of Zorgath's cruelty and the senseless slaughter of innocents, he began to question the very foundation of his beliefs. Krath had seen firsthand the bravery and determination of the humans, and in particular, the leadership of Admiral Zack. He had come to respect their tenacity and their unwavering commitment to the well-being of the galaxy. Krath realized that the Kragoth's brutal tactics and ruthless ambition were not the way forward, and that a new path must be forged. The breaking point came when Zorgath commanded the annihilation of a Kragoth-occupied planet, a world that had been subjugated by the Empire but still contained millions of innocent lives. The Emperor's plan was to blame the atrocity on the Federation, using it as a propaganda tool to turn public opinion against them, and rally support for the Kragoth cause. Krath knew that he could not stand idly by and allow such a heinous act to be carried out. He had to take a stand, even if it meant betraying everything he had ever known. In a daring move, Krath defected to the Federation, bringing with him a wealth of knowledge and insider information about the Kragoth's inner workings. He sought out Admiral Zack, offering his assistance and insight into the enemy's weaknesses. Zack was initially skeptical of Krath's motives, suspecting a trap or a ploy to undermine the Federation from within. But as he listened to the Kragoth Admiral's story and saw the genuine remorse and determination in his eyes, Zack began to understand the depth of Krath's change of heart. The two former adversaries found common ground in their shared desire to bring an end to the war and forge a lasting peace. They worked together, combining their tactical acumen and intimate knowledge of the Kragoth's defences to plan a decisive strike against the Empire's strongholds. As the final battle approached, Zack received a shocking piece of intelligence. Lieutenant Emma Reed, the brave soldier who had sacrificed herself to destroy the Kragoth superweapon, was alive. She was being held in a secret Kragoth prison, subjected to unimaginable torture and interrogation. Zack's heart raced at the news, a mix of elation and dread coursing through his veins. He had mourned Emma's loss, carried the weight of her sacrifice with him every day, and now, against all odds, there was a chance to save her. But the timing couldn't have been worse. The Federation's forces were poised to strike, and any delay or diversion could jeopardize the entire operation. Zack found himself torn between his duty as an admiral and his loyalty to his friend. As he grappled with the decision, Zack sought counsel from his alien allies and the leaders of the Federation. They reminded him of the greater good of the millions of lives that hung in the balance, but they also recognized the importance of honoring the sacrifices of those who had given everything for the cause. In the end, Zack made his choice. He would not abandon Emma, not when there was a chance to bring her home, but he also knew that he could not do it alone. Zack assembled a small elite team of human and alien operatives, each one handpicked for their unique skills and unwavering loyalty. Together, they would embark on a daring rescue mission, infiltrating the Kragoth prison and extracting Emma while the main Federation fleet launched their final assault. It was a gamble, a risk that could tip the scales of the entire war, but Zack knew that he had to try for Emma, for the memory of all those who had fallen and for the future that they had fought so hard to secure. As the rescue team prepared to depart, and the Federation fleet readied itself for the climactic battle, Zack took a moment to reflect on the journey that had brought them to this point. He thought of the sacrifices that had been made, the bonds that had been forged, and the unwavering spirit of humanity that had carried them through the darkest of times. He knew that the road ahead would be fraught with danger and uncertainty, but he also knew that they would face it together, united by a common purpose and an unbreakable resolve. The stage was set for the final showdown, a battle that would determine the fate of the Galactic Federation, the Kragoth Empire, and the place of humanity among the stars. Zack took a deep breath, steeling himself for the challenges to come, and then gave the order to move out. 
There was no turning back now. The future of the galaxy hung in the balance, and Zack and his allies would stop at nothing to ensure that it was a future worth fighting for. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support me, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And for every comment that says, I liked the story, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.